Recall missing campaign signs are a hallmark of nearly every election, but a candidate for Boulder City Justice of the Peace tells us that it was the city that impounded his mobile billboard. Thanks for staying with us at 6.30. I'm Christiane Klein. And I'm Brian Loftus. Rob Martin had mounted his campaign signs in the back of his classic 1962 Chevy C10 before Boulder City Police impounded the truck and the signs after it was parked in the very same spot for more than 24 hours. So Politics Now co-host Steve Sebelli spoke with Martin about the incident today. What did he say, Steve? Well, Brian, uh, is it a truck or is it a sign? That's the question out in Boulder City, which has an ordinance on the books that says no vehicle may be parked for more than 24 hours in a single spot except at a person's home. Martin has two trucks with his campaign signs mounted in the bed. And he's been warned repeatedly about parking them around town in violation of the ordinance. But when a Boulder City police officer noticed his classic Chevy hadn't moved for more than a day, they impounded the truck along with the signs. I went to move it after I was back in town, and it wasn't there. And I had one of the club things on it, so I figured it didn't get stolen. In fact, it was in the city's impound yard because of the city's parking ordinance. But Martin, a longtime attorney in southern Nevada, says that the law is in conflict with another provision of the city's municipal code, which allows political signs to be up before an election. Martin is challenging longtime Boulder City Justice of the Peace Victor Miller, who has held office for more than 20 years. Martin says that tenure could be a factor in his truck's disappearance. I don't mean to attribute what happened here to the sitting judge. I personally doubt that he had anything to do with this. But at the same time, the relationship between the police department and the only judge in Boulder City has been very, very, very close for a long, long, long time. And maybe they're just taking it on themselves to try to be overly protective. But as far as Boulder City is concerned, it's less an issue of free speech than of the illegal parking. Boulder City spokeswoman Lisa LaPlante said a city police officer observed the vehicle parked for more than a day at the intersection of Veterans Memorial Drive and Buchanan Boulevard, at which point it was towed away. It was a simple matter of code enforcement, LaPlante said, adding, quote, Our contention is the truck is a motor vehicle, even with the political signs attached to it. You can't call a dog a horse and get away with it, unquote. Now, Martin doesn't see things that way and believes the city has illegally confiscated his signs with just less than 60 days to go before voters start casting their ballots in early voting. It's really only a campaign sign right now. It's just mobile. Now, the city tells me that in order for Martin to get his truck back, he'll need to pay a $100 fee to the city's police department and then the towing and daily impound fees. Martin contends that the city should give him the truck back for free because it never should have been impounded in the first place. So we'll probably hear more about this. He had the club in it. That's an old school anti-theft device. That's true. That's an old school truck, the C-10. They could always <laughs> just give him the sign back. They have offered him to actually to come get the signs for free, yeah. but they won't give him the truck without uh -huh. paying the fee. Okay. okay. He'd like Thank both. You. <laughs>